I'm here with Cody Wilhide, marketing manager for Forerunner in Tacoma. And uh, we were just talking about all these new TNGAF products that came out like that, like in like two years. Four years, yeah. four, it was four years, okay. Uh, kind of like machine gun, like bang, bang, bang. All these came out like so quickly and they're all extremely compelling. Um, how did this happen? Well, I think it, it all starts with the TNGAF platform. And that, you know, the plan for that all along was to go under the Tundra and Sequoia first, but it was still modular enough to where it could be scaled down to the midsize for Tacoma, Land Cruiser, and then now Fort Wayne. So once you have that platform that underpins all of them, you know, all the same kind of technology sharing, whether it's same iForce Max hybrid uh, with the battery power, electric motors, uh, as well as the, the multimedia tech, it kind of creates the perfect storm that you could do five new trucks in like two or three years there. So, yeah, great opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess they'd all were a bit old, you know, a few years ago. A couple years. Yeah. So this is the here are the new ones, and we can expect to see them here for fifteen years, probably, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, in terms of volume, I'm assuming number one over there, number two here, Tundra. Tundra. Tundra's two, so it, historically two, two, over 200,000 there with Tacoma. This is probably closer to like 150? Uh, a little above. Above, okay. Yeah, and it's just a huge segment too. Full size right, of course. Yep. This is 100, right-ish? Yep. A little over 100. And who the heck knows on that? Because that's a, it's a whole new thing. Yeah, we're, we'll find out. And we're, 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 what are the hopes on that? Somewhere, somewhere reasonably close to this? Uh, a bit smaller to the former. Runner. Yep. Uh, but still much higher than previous land cruiser. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's a, it's in a, such a huge segment yep. that, you know, we're pretty confident we can kind of get by with two of them there. Yeah, I mean, so these are essentially in the same segment. This one's just higher uh, marketed, sort of, just more, more expensive, more of a family vehicle, single person vehicle. I mean, anyone can buy it either, but. You'll have fun in either one. And the Sequoia, I assume, and, and volume wise, probably the lowest or? Or maybe a little above uh, your expectations. Probably maybe a little bit lower mm -hmm. uh, than Land Cruiser. But they're all big numbers. Yeah. And if you multiply these models out by those big numbers, you get lots of cars sold. Right. 100 cars. That's, 100, that's wild. That's crazy. So how'd you make one platform work for midsize? And because previously it was separate. Was it separate? Yeah. They were all different, uh, you know, different chassis, different frames. Um, a lot of times different multimedia tech, four wheel drive systems. Yeah. Um, I mean, you'd have to ask, you know, somebody like Sheldon or Mike Swears and the platform development. This was something that was in the works for a long time. And we're finally getting to kind of see the, you know, the fruits of that labor. Yeah. I, mean, I think everyone's excited. The GX is also, uh, yeah. I, obviously it's not here because it's not a Toyota, but it feels very much like it would belong in this crowd here. Chunky, real off-road vehicle. Um, that's